Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and the build series on our cargo trailer. In the previous video, you've probably seen we put the polycuramine floor in here. It looks awesome, it's still holding up. We've done a lot of stuff on that floor. So, so far so good. We were, some people were, I know in the comment section were saying something about the cracks. Why don't we fill the cracks or something? The polycuramine kind of filled the cracks. It's been holding up so far, so I'm pretty happy with the job. But in today's video, we're gonna continue on with the upgrades and we're gonna start insulating the walls in here. We want to put in, like the rigid one in rigid foam in the walls just because we want to air condition like a good two thirds of this trailer because it gets pretty hot in there, especially here in South Florida. So we want to get it cooled down so we can do some work in there, get other projects done. So that's our goal for today. First thing we're going to have to do is take all the panels off the wall, but we're going to do one section at a time. We're going to take like one eight foot piece of plywood off and then we're going to just put the insulation in there, put that one up, go to the next one. And, and so on until we get back to as far as we want to go. Then we're also going to put the insulation in the roof. And then we also are doing that bench, the workbench in the front. So that'll be a good part for this project. Then, then we'll go on further with the lighting in here and outside lights and solar projects. So hope you guys stay tuned for those videos. But with that being said, guys, let's get in here. We'll get this started and then we'll take you, I'll bring you guys along so you can see how we're going to do it. So let's get started. All right, guys, back on the projects here in the trailer. As you can see, we took the front, the wood off. You can see the side has it on. We took it off over here and we start putting insulation in, uh, filling up the gaps. Just got that little corner there done. Now we can put up that panel and go on to this panel and then we'll continue our way down the sides. We're gonna insulate this thing so we can use it as partially a workshop too. The front half can be air conditioned at least, but it'd be nice. But it is 90 some degrees, so it's really hot. Everything's slow, so this air conditioner will be welcome. So that part's done, on to the next one. All right, everybody. We have got the second half of it insulated in. You can see we're using the one inch rigid foam with the silver backing. Uh, pretty good up here. You can see right to the floor. And along the floor, after we took the stuff out, there were some gaps. We filled those with all with silicone. So we didn't have any gaps. And then it's tight to the seal in there. You can see we put that wood back on. We're going to put this one back on and, and move on to the sides here. Because uh, our plan is to put a little workbench in the nose right here. And over in that corner, we're putting in some generator power plug there so we can hook a generator up and get power in here. So we are moving right along on this project. All right, moving right along, guys. You can see we are now on the sidewall. We got this whole eight-foot section done right here. A uh, little different kind of foam. It's a little bit cheaper, but it's still one inch foam. And then uh, along the bottom, there's a gap all along these, like a one inch gap. The foam fills it and then we're siliconing all along there to get a good seal on it. And we, we did the whole corner with silicone. It's coming along. Then we continue on with those other sheets there, but we gotta go pick up more foam. Then we're gonna do the roof as well. Get foam for in between there so we're good and insulated. Moving along, let's go. All right guys, back in the trailer today. Still on the same project with uh, insulating and putting on the bench. We finally got our bench in up here in the nose. Right here, I'm sure you guys could see that. Right now, and we also put the outlet into the side for the generator, which right there's the, the cord for it's coming up. We're gonna mount that to the wall here in a minute. I'll show you the outside where the plug's in. All right, here's our plug on the outside. We have that mounted, so we're ready for uh, hooking that up with the generator. It's the twist lock type of plug, so we already have that cord and everything. So that'll give us power inside for anything we need to run, portable air conditioner, air compressors, whatever. It'll be uh, there if we need it. So we're continuing on inside, hooking up the cables up the wall, then we'll go to the next project. All right, guys, continuing, pretty much finishing up this project. As you see in the front of our trailer, we got the bench done. Got it organized under there. Over there on the wall, you can see where we have the our, the generator plug in the side. Comes up, comes out of the top of the bench, and we have it as a power strip right there. For anything we need to do in here. Uh, this whole part, this whole section to there right now is insulated. Uh, we're going to continue on, but that's what we got so far. At least gives us a small spot to air condition. Because it is hot. 
And of course, this is out of our RV, but uh, it's gonna work perfectly in here. So you, as you've seen in our one of our other videos, we epoxied the floor. That was like one of the first things we did. Actually, this is that polycure mine. It's supposed to be better than epoxy. We did the whole floor with that for durability. And then uh, we still have all this room back here. Once we get the rest of that conditioned, it'll be awesome. But a uh, little bit of stuff there. Keep on trucking. Good answer. Now we got this wall clear. We're going to take this next eight foot section and insulate that. And then we'll move the stuff over from there to here and insulate that. We'll keep moving along. But then we got plans you'll see in future videos where we're going to LED lights. Oh, blurring it for it. LED lights all the way around the perimeter. So we have even light everywhere. And we're also going to put lights on the outside of, of this door and the back door. And they're going to be on their own switches. So. We'll keep it moving along with these projects. Good deal. Let's go. Well, there you have it, guys. We'll continue on with this project. And in the next video, we'll show you the finished project. We're just going to continue doing the insulation like we're doing, get our bench mounted in there. You guys will see that in the next video when we're also going to start the lights, probably. So we'll show you the finished project and all that stuff. But uh, that's all for today. Again, we want to thank you guys for watching and the support for the channel. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up so they know that we're doing something that you guys are enjoying and it's helpful to you. Um, also, don't forget to hit that bell notification so you don't miss any videos we upload. we got lots more coming on the series of this. And with our channel being a little bit of everything, you don't know what we're going to post. It might be something you're interested in. It's fun projects to do. It's fun to share with you guys. Um, anything we use in these videos, we'll leave links to it down below in case you're interested in any of it. Um, and then uh, that also directly helps the channel. It might be Amazon links or something like that. They do help the channel. We appreciate that. And also thanks to you guys. We have that super thanks button. If you feel like uh, this video helped you out enough that you can click that button. We would appreciate that support. That's a direct support too. And don't forget to check out our webpage, jimmy2tech.com. We post all our, what we're up to and our current video and stuff like that. Check that out. Let us know what you guys think in the comment section down below. But with that being said, guys, until next time, try something new.